Olivia Newton-John has passed away. Yeah, absolutely terrible news this morning. We're just getting it through. It has been announced online. Dame Olivia Newton-John, 73, passed away peacefully at her ranch in Southern California this morning, surrounded by family and friends. This is the statement that has been released and it says we ask that everyone please respect the family's privacy during this very difficult time. Olivia has been, of course, a symbol of triumphs and hope for over 30 years, sharing her journey with breast cancer, her healing inspiration and pioneering experience with plant medicine continues with the Olivia Newton-John Foundation Fund dedicated to researching plant medicine and cancer. In lieu of flowers, the family asks that any donations be made in her memory to the At ONJ Foundation. Olivia is survived by her husband, John Easterling, her daughter, Chloe Latanzi, her sister, Sarah Newton-John, her brother, Toby Newton-John, her nieces and nephews, Totty, Fiona and Brett Goldsmith, Emerson, Charlie, Zach, Jeremy Randall and Piers Newton-John, Jude Newton-Stock, Layla Lee, Kira and Tasha Edelstein and Bryn and Valerie Hall. That is just breaking. We're just getting yeah. that through. Very, very sad news for the whole of Australia and people yeah. around the world this morning. Yeah, she was just wonderful, wasn't she? Mm. Um, so many hits. Of course, we all loved her in Greece, mm. didn't we? It sort of uh, 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 played an iconic character and, of course, has done uh, so much for uh, cancer research in, um, in Melbourne. And that's of course, with the Peter McCallum Cancer yeah, Institute. Uh, and that's what she's been known yes, for, hasn't she? Right. That fight over so many years, yep. um, in, in the last sort of 15 or 20 years. Greece was 1978, and those two, um, those two songs <laughs> that we all remember, You're the One That I Want in Summer Nights, that's still <laughs> one of the best-selling albums of all time. Yep. And you, you weren't Australian if you didn't no. know those songs and know those words growing up, were yep. you? Yeah, she brought a lot of joy to so many people, didn't yeah. she? And she was... Um, and we've had her on many times here on Sunrise. So always the nicest, nicest person. A great heart, really community, and uh, she just put her heart and soul into the uh, into the wellness centre in in Victoria, mm -hmm. and worked tirelessly for it. She and Hoags, of course carried the Australian flag in America, didn't they? Probably our best known Aussies. Um, it was, um, she just had made a big impression on so many lives. So, and let's get physical, what a classic that was. That was a groundbreaking video of, uh, of the era, wasn't it? <laughs> I know, and you know, she was the sort of person who grew up the old fashioned way. Uh, she was so professional every time she turned up. Yep. Um, she, was, she was an old fashioned entertainer who did yep. everything uh, by the book. She was the most professional of people in every single thing she did. She had yep. so much grace too in, in her battle with cancer and just recently Recently, I was listening to her talking about uh, how she had moved into, she had stage four breast cancer. It had metastasized right throughout her body. Uh, it was in her liver, and that she was feeling at peace with mm. that. She, you know, she just had managed to uh, to reach a, a point of really extraordinary grace yep. with what her diagnosis was. Yeah, very sad indeed. She will be Mr. Great Australian. Uh, Olivia Newton-John. Just news breaking now that uh, she has passed away.